What is up guys, Delboy here. So a rather interesting fight domestically has been added on the Tony Bellew vs David Hay 2 card. We've got the super middleweight battle between Jamie Cox and John Ryder. I feel this is a really good fight. Stylistically I think this should gel quite well. Both guys in my opinion are best up close. Jamie Cox is a guy who likes to apply pressure. He's a uh, he's a guy who likes to come forward, let his hands go, work the body, you know, get creative on the inside and rough you up. Whereas John Ryder, again, he's a guy who's better up close, but he's a little bit more cerebral. He'll like to take his, he'll like to sort of roll with the shots and, and look for counters on the inside. And overall, I feel he's a little bit more, he's a bit more of a thinking fighter, is John Ryder. And definitely has the better temperament going into this fight, you know. Jamie Cox is a lot more erratic and it shows in his fight style and it showed in numerous fights throughout his career. I felt in his last fight against George Groves, he did he actually did quite a bit right in, in a sense where he was pushing Groves back against the ropes and he was having some success but he just got too gung-ho at times and you know he left too many openings for George Groves to take advantage of and he got stopped in that fight. And before that, you know, there's been numerous fights where his opponents have got rough and rugged and he'd really reacted to it. You know, the one of the fights that, that springs to mind is the fight against the Argentinian fellow um, Martin Fidel Rios. In that fight, that fight went to points, but it was so dirty and, you know, Jamie Cox was given as good as he was getting, but he was really getting frustrated. He was really reacting and he could have got himself disqualified in that fight. Also, the fight with, this was early on in his career against, this is actually super welterweight. He fought for the Commonwealth title at super welterweight. And he fought an African guy by the name of Obadai Sai, who was 16 and 0 at the time. And that fight was extremely, extremely tough for Jamie Cox to a point where he started to foul, he started to get messy, he started to low blow. He was a disgrace that night, to be quite honest. And and how he didn't get disqualified is beyond me. So, when you put it on Jamie Cox, firstly, he doesn't react well, as we saw in the Rios and the Psy fights. But not only that, I feel the guy could potentially fold quite easily because, yeah, in a Groves fight, he was pushing back pushing back Groves and he was landing some good shots but you know to me it, it looked like he kind of in the Groves fight anyway when he took that body shot I'm sure it hurt I'm sure it took the wind out of him but he went down he got counted out and straight away he gets up and goes over to George Groves gives him a hug it almost looked like he could have got up a bit earlier and maybe tried to beat the count just by looking at it that's what I thought to be got to be quite honest with you I do question Jamie Cox's ability to battle adversity and one thing about John Ryder he's had his ups and his downs but he knows how to bounce back he knows how to deal with adversity he's been involved in tough fights he's always taken on tough competition so I've got no doubt John Ryder can deal with that you know apart from George Groves Jamie Cox hasn't really fought anybody and even then he's looked bad in fights whereas John Ryder throughout his career has fought a good level of competition domestically you know John Ryder has fought the likes of Billy Joe Saunders, Nick Blackwell, um, Patrick Nielsen, Rocky Fielding, Adam Etches, Sergei Kamitsky, Amen O'Kane. You know, his level of competition has been a lot better than Jamie Cox. You know, apart from the Groves fight, Cox hasn't fought anybody. And like I said, even then he's looked poor in certain fights. So I'm still not sure how good Jamie Cox is, to be quite honest, as a pro. And I feel in a tough fight, he could come unstuck and he could come apart. Going into it, I feel John Ryder, like I said, is a more cerebral boxer. He's a guy who, to me, is a lot more calm in the ring. He's a better technician. He's a better counterpuncher. You know, he's a, he's a clever little fighter domestically, especially on the inside. He's very, very clever. And I feel that, given Jamie Cox's style, is that he likes to swarm and get up close. I think he could give John Ryder a lot of opportunities to counter on the inside. You know, John Ryder's got a lovely, uh, lovely right uppercut on the inside, which is really effective. He's a good body puncher on the inside, and he's he's just an effective inside fighter, to be quite honest. And he's a lot more polished on the inside than Jamie Cox, in my opinion. Thinking about it, when, when the fight was first announced, I thought, do you know what, this could be 50-50. But thinking about it, you know, I've got to make John Ryder a favourite. I think, like I said, he's more calm. 
He's a guy who handles adversity better. I feel overall he's a more technically sound fighter, both de both defensively and and even offensively in terms of his punch technique and, and how he throws his shots and how he sets up his shots. The, the thing that Jamie Cox has going for him in this fight is the, is the pure intensity that he fights at. And that could give John Ryder problems because we've seen in the past when guys come at John Ryder with a bit of volume, guys like Jack Arnfield, for example, it gives him problems. Even though I thought, I actually thought John John Ryder won that fight, but no doubt the, the, sort of the steady sort of output of Jack Arnfield gave, definitely gave John Ryder some issues, you know. And we saw that also against Nick Blackwell, again, steady pressure, it, it got to Nick Black, uh, it got to John Ryder, sorry, and, and John Ryder got stopped, so... I do feel it's a winnable fight for Jamie Cox. I think he has the style to give John Ryder issues, actually, but I just question his temperament. And his style, to beat John Ryder with his style, he's going to have to take a few on the inside. He's going to have to take a few coming forward. And I feel that John Ryder is the bigger puncher here. He's the bigger man, naturally. And I'm not sure whether Jamie Cox can take those shots coming in. And I feel that could be the difference here. The sort of the counter-punching... And the heavier hands of John Ryder and the better inside game could win him this fight. And overall, his better boxing ability should win him the fight. But I don't rule out Jamie Cox. I think his pressure can give John Ryder some serious issues. But I've got to go with a, with a John Ryder win here. I just think he's more polished overall. I think he's a better fighter. And if you look at his resume, I mean, let's look at his losses, for example. Let's look at John Ryder's losses. First and foremost, I felt he beat Rocky Fielding. He lost that fight by, by split decision. I felt he beat him. I felt he definitely beat Jack Arnfield. He lost that fight by a unanimous decision. So I feel those two fights, he was very unfortunate to lose. And even if you go back to the Billy Joe Saunders fight, go back and watch that fight. That fight is extremely close. John Ryder gave Billy Joe a tougher fight than Eubank Jr. He gave him a tougher fight than Andy Lee. You know, that was one of Billy Joe's toughest fights of his career. There are people out there who feel John Ryder beat Billy Joe Saunders. That's the type of level he can operate at. You know, John Ryder has skills. He's just been a guy who has never really been able to put it together. I recall when John Ryder was on the come up before the Billy Joe fight, a lot of people were high on him. And even after the Billy Joe fight, a lot of people were high on him. But he's never really developed into the fighter that a lot of people felt he would do. But... You know, this is a crossroads fight because the winner, to me, stays at domestic level and doesn't really move on to world level. But the winner can have a crack at world level maybe down the, down the line. So I feel this is a good crossroads fight. I feel it's a fight where both guys have a good chance of winning. And I feel stylistically this fight should gel quite well. But I do make John Ryder a favourite here. I really like this fight. I think it's a good fight. I've got John Ryder by a late stoppage or points win. What do you guys think? Peace.